idea why nobody sees this stuff, but look at this. April 8th, the whole eclipse psyop. Look at that date. 12-29. 12-29. December 29th. The exact day on September 26th. Are you kidding me? Then the New York earthquake? When did that happen? Oh, magic. It happened on April 5th. There you go. 12-26. The exact day on April on September 26th. Give me a break. Last year, on September 5th, I said the next day to watch for some massive, massive event would be October 7th, October 8th. I even marked the calendar right here. Why? Because October 7th last year was Shem Niazrat, and October 8th was Shem Shat Torah. And what happened October 7th, 2023? A day that I had a month in advance because of this Shem Niazrat, Shem Shat Torah code? Well, we all know Israel got hit for the first time. More Jews died that day than since the Holocaust. Here's a date I had back in February 15th saying that Russia would get hit on exactly February 23rd. It happened in the evening of February 23rd. It was February 24th overseas. Three weeks in advance. What is the point? Not to impress you, but to impress upon you. We should all be looking at these calendars, not at Gematria junk or Strong's Concordance, because that doesn't tell you anything. What actually tells you stuff, and we should have been looking at the whole time, are these calendars. If you want to know the dates, obviously look at a calendar. Here's a special little date. How about March 11th, 2024, the exact day the pandemic pandemic began? What date do we have here? Oh, magic. 1229, another 926 code. The date exactly on September 26th is the date 1229. And what about 88 miles an hour? When your DeLorean hits 88 miles an hour, you'll see some serious smack. That date exactly, the 26th, 1226 was March 8th. What does 12 mean? 12 means, uh, Decem means 10, and 10 means oct. There's your 88 miles an hour, which is the exact day that Israel began a war, October 8th, on that Shimshat Torah day. So now you have a third, a fourth connection to September 26th. Even the pandemic in 2024, the date was March 11th. But check this We talked about the other day, January 17th, the date on the first month, 17th day. Right, first month, seventeenth day, that was a coded November fifth. Why? Remember, remember the fifth of November because the seventeenth day on that calendar, as you see right here, is precisely January 29th. and we all know sixes are nines. So we talked about the other day. Remember, remember the fifth of November is January seventeenth, and the seventeenth day is precisely the one two six code, September twenty sixth. But check this out. You got the 2015 cover of The Economist showing you the exact date, 11-3, which as I just showed you is 12-29, and 11-5, which I showed you is 12-29. Literally, they're handing you, as clearly as they can, a date of 12, uh, of 12-26, uh, September 26th. Give me a break. All right, hold on. There's a little bit more. Check this out. And here we have the good old... Mayan end of the world. When is that date? That date is literally the Mayan end of the world was December 21st. December 21st ends midday, midday on December 22nd, 1222, which is your 922 code, which is precisely September 26th. That's why you got all the all the uh, coding saying winter is coming. Winter is coming. Well, here it is. Winter is arriving precisely on the day, December. Uh, 21st, which is September 26th, we showed you on the other calendar. But the song is Summer Has Come and Passed. What is the only day that summer arrives and passes? Well, the only day summer has come and passed is that day, September 26th. This December 21st, 22nd code, which we saw is uh, September 26th precisely, which I'll reshare with you in one second. Literally, you got winter is coming, the first day of winter. It's literally September 26th. And here it is. December is the month we're in right now. I mean, we're in the month Elul on the Hebrew calendar. So 1222, the date we precisely showed you, the Mayan end of the world, the day after Mayan end of the world, is precisely September 26th. You even got the Mayan end of the world, for God's sake, connecting to September 26th and 27th. If this isn't the day, I'll never post another video. This is the final day. This is it. 100%. And here is 
the final piece of thy puzzle. What? There it is. On the board. On the blackboard. The date, January 10th. Right there in your face. Let's go look at January 10th on the, on the uh, Torah calendar. Check this out. There it is. The month January and the 10th Jewish day in the month of January. There's your hidden January 10th right there. And what day is that? Ah, oh, the day of abortion. January 22nd. 122. Two, the precise date on September 26th. I have no earthly idea how September 26th or 27th is not Judgment Day. Literally, never see another video from me again if this isn't the day. This is out of control. I can make videos for two years, which I won't, but for the next two years, just based on this date, September 26th, for God's sake. Um, and here is that documentary that some people asked about. Here it is. The documentary from BBC. You can look it up yourself. It's called The Eight Day Nuclear Winter Documentary from 1984. Technically, it's 1983, by the way. They had it wrong. Um, but 1984, 83, Nuclear Winter Documentary on The Eight Day. Uploaded 10 years ago on here. But literally, you have a nuclear documentary, a nuclear song, titled The Eight Day. What is the only day on the calendar? Beside, it's called The Eight Day. They're obviously not going to pull it again on the same exact Shemni Ezrat day that Israel got hit. They're going to do it on a biblical calendar that nobody's looking at, which connects to Christmas at ground zero. What is the only day? Why do they give you Christmas in July? Because Christmas in July only happens once every four years. Because this only in a leap year is the Hebrew calendar still in the month 12, and the Torah calendar is now in the month 7. 7 to 5 is precisely September 26, Christmas in July, and Christmas at Ground Zero, and New Year's Eve, and the 8th day. Give me a break. Give me a break. That day, September 26 or 27th, I don't know which, it's got to be Judgment Day. That's what I got for you. Good luck. You're going to need it.